Hello everyone! Welcome back by part two or three. I can't say if, if that I uh, could f uh, fill part one to part one one. <laughs> And when so, then it's part three. But I will decide later. I quit filming because I was lost, so I had to find the way back. But I now I found it. And yes, found it. I I should have brought my manchetti. There it is. Boom. Boom. What? What? Wait a second. This warped. Oh, how can I? S And how can I use my hammer with it? Ah, uh, come on. Now let's uh, put the CD in. What? How do I straighten this then? I have no clue what I have to do. I haven't seen an info or a, in, what, whatever. Oh wait, in that barn.
That's not the barn. Whoa, look at the dust. <laughs> hey. Something here I could use? Hey, this could be. Oh, darn! I remember that I said, what is this thing? It looked like an earring. Ah. Uh. I look at the thing while I was walking there and I think, hmm, that could be an earring. And then suddenly, if it, I have to put it on the table and then I hit it with a hammer. And that was upstairs, I thought. Yes. We've done it. I thought I saw something here. Hmm. Not. Well, then, not. Then we're going down. We're going to open the facility, I think. Can't I jump down? Goes f way faster. Well, I would like to have a drink. Sun is shining while it's winter. Why? It has to snow and to freeze. Well to be to be honest, no, don't let it freeze. Oh I opened the wrong way again. I slid out the uh, Friday on my bike. So there was nothing and suddenly there was ice and clutch. I have a big bruise on my leg, but ah, uh, that will I will survive it. I will get over it when I get a, become a girl.
Oh, I will be glad when I am done here with that mice. Excuse me. Oh no, please no. What? Hey! 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 <laughs> hey! You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every time? Oh, I did a bit of vote to clear on the election. Oh, we should see all of that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. <laughs> Funny head, there. Real funny head. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> so there are no enemies. <laughs> Luckily. What's that? Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in there because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Cordially dead. Hiya, Ted, don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overboard on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. I assume those are the two founders we saw the port portraits of? You press the button now? <laughs> you serious? <laughs> A stale pellet. Hmm. Uh, hello? You press the button. Let me out! It is going to take forever. <laughs> no, we're, we're going. Lights off. Oh. Oh, old postage. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have to gall to the commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us, Bob. Bob, are you so, so very stupid? What about the term classified? Don't you understand Ricardo's that he was moron? Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat classified, put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Alright, who's who? Bob P. McTuffy's. PhD, MA, BSC, DOP, and ESQ. Founder. What does it say? Oh, nothing. Ah, okay, so that's what I thought. And the other is the. And yes, and that's Ted. Co founder. <laughs> oh, they show you the money waster. 
Ouais. Ouais, non, 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 ok. Uh, yeah, we are in the facility. Whoa, whoa what was that? Oh, it's gone now. A jumpsuit? Okay. Code rack? Okay. Now we can defend ourselves. Appears to be a report on the warfare read readiness of the subject of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of a test. <laughs> the term object failure also appears all over the document. A running theme on many reports involving the court. <laughs> object failure. That's all? Post-its. That, that exciting news. I cut us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I cut thousands in a bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob. <laughs> Bob, you idiot. You cut a good deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Quarterly <laughs> Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits that I have you marked down from the original cost. All apparently have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast and the only come in size XXXXL. The word defective appears a few times in a small print. <laughs> that only costs one million. So what? So it's a one-way hall. Oh no, here's it. First I'm gonna see what's here. Oh, post it. Hiya Ted, the fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks, Bob. Bob, you dummy, there are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? <laughs> Fat room. Ooh, much to explore. I already see it. And another. And that's the way we came from. No, not. Oh, let's start here. The gym. Dumble. <laughs> Sweaty headband. Ugh. Yuck. Get, it, get, it, get rid of that thing. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is very trumpest. We're bled every time it was. Reed explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks. A breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses all over the fact that this specimen is somehow female. 
which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Aha! Do we have to open any locker? No, nothing in here, nothing in here. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, these are showers. Nothing of interest. What the? What? I'm a bit confused now. Daycare? It was classified. <laughs> hey, that's that's that, that's that's the teddy bear. Oh, he looks evil. What am I gonna do with it? Hello, wake up, you. Uh, do I have to electrify you? That's all there is. Ah, uh, glow in the dark stars. I bought these things for my children also in their uh, sleeping room. X marks the spot. What do we have here? Ofi an extremely obvious fake panel. Okay, here come back to that. Gymnasium. Eh? That fake panel threw me off. Yeah, slid the slide door. Come on, open. Whoa. I heard a funny noise. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochures is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. I, it takes hours for everyone to get there. Uh, now, yeah, we already. This is where we left, where we uh, started. So, yeah, loose panel. Not a loose panel. Oh, here goes the bear. Not? Yeah. What do I need further then? A backpack?
<gasps> Commodore 64 bread bean. Oh no, com uh, Commander 42. <laughs> Nice. Oh, not this one. Can I keep it? No. Bob, you jerk, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here, accordingly. Ted. Please, no food or drink. More notes. Hiya Ted, the latest brochures came back from the press. Take a look, think it really boosted tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob. Bob, first you are an idiot. The brochures incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make the stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in same title, jerk. <laughs> I did really sorry, but the final print has been done. <laughs> It's sent off. I make a double short. The next one has your name underneath mine on the front. <laughs> Good, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of five years old? This is a top secret facility when this is sent off. Precious moron. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Yeah, not this, this one, I have item here. Bidi bidi. You want another? Hey! This little blue dingy goes here. 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 Ah, come on. Oh, there, whatever. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around my IE. Experiments, idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Let's continue our quest. Whoa. Can you walk? Cove? Yes, you can. That's locked off. All right. What a mess, hey, whoa. I came from there. Hiya, Ted, noticed that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, uh, it had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though, here's another one. Be a pal and put it up. Would you please, Bob? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulged Louis. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? <laughs> 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 
They come and they get along with each other real good. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since the tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Looks <laughs> like a root. <laughs> They're funny phases. A schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. <laughs> hey, Chris, that's my name. I'm not working for that company. No way. Jesus, a cold toilet. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, who does remember these of the old days? I do. Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bedroom key. But good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slut? <laughs> oh. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and sink. Encrusted with gold, cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financially culpability. I'm not paying for this. <laughs> 50,000. <000. laughs> what? 50 million? 500 million? Total payment is 60 days. <laughs> and you could say this is blocked, but I'm not sure. No, we can take that. No, uh, no, no. Oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> A memo from the US government directed to a secret research facility, name of which is redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year on the memo, 1983. Oh, wow. I was 13. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, no, no, no. Twenty of seventy-five. You get an achievement when you get more seventy-five? All right. Last look here. No, no, we go. Looking for the bat backpack. <laughs> I pick everything up that I see. I've already been there. Still thinking I'm falling down when I'm walking on that thing there. What? Huh? 
You support me? Oh! Cool. And why do we need that? Bob, you lazy buffoon, I know you're spending all your time here and do not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. And also for the thousandth time, do you, we even have a daycare? There are no children here. Half wit. <laughs> yeah, you see it's a daycare, I already thought so. Eh? Top secret and then a daycare. Wee! Ah! Oh no, I can't jump. Whoa, what's this? Radio. The gymnasium. No, we don't need that. This terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dreams have been shattered. What do I have to do with this? I don't have to head a uh, head anymore. Music is wonderful in this game. Wow. Nice touch that they don't call it the Commodore by the Commandor, but you can see it's a bread bin, the Commodore 64. Nice eye for touch, really. <laughs> My Commodore standing over there. Oh, wow. You have to retro brighter, man. Jesus, what a mess! Holy moly! Hey, the backpack! Yeah! Opened drawer. A small screwdriver. Hmm. Do we have to repair the robot? Bob, you disgusting slob, until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. 
<laughs> Jesus, what a mess. Unbelievable. How can you lose something like that? Are we here already? Oh, yeah, there, that's the way it Yeah, we were right here already. With the bread being. Uh, no, of course not. No, 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 no. What's the time? Oh, oh 2 30 p.m. Ah, there you are. Well, here. Oh, excuse me. What? <sighs> and what's this? Excuse me. The post apocalyptic inventor new workshop. He's also a, a, a very nice YouTuber. He's uh, German. He speaks English. The post apocalyptic inventor. Yep. And yeah, what is that? I don't have that item yet. Okay. Oh! Can I use this on that loose, uh, the X marks the spot uh, thing? Where was it? Here. Hi, uh, just a heads up. I put your rim right here. This way it get less dusty. <laughs> <laughs> and a ram on a breadboard. I want to see you try that <laughs> to do. Breadboard has holes in it. So you can't put... Yeah, okay, maybe in here. But there are three strips over, uh, on, on the middle, so no, that's not possible. I have a feeling I've... I forgot something here. It seems not. I'm not sure, but I've, I'm, I have a feeling I have to do something there, but... <laughs> so, so you have crutch in memory? <laughs> Why is the computer? What? Why do I take the computer again? No, I want to be empty handed. What is that thing there? Bagels, anyone? A 
Chris, also show some Amigas 500 and 1200s, please. That would be awesome, freaking awesome. My Amigas are over here. I'm trying to find that thing, what the teddy bear I need. I wouldn't know what the thing is. When I look at it, it looks as uh, on a, a, a photo, a photo camera from uh, the, the 1200. <laughs> with tripod with the box on it. <laughs> But it won't be this. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just like it. It's not here, is it? No. Science. Nothing. I hope those are fake planes. Because there is none, but I'm ser serious, none. One way? No, no, no. There's, there's not the, they can, they cannot even uh, breathe in there. There's no oxygen, no nothing. Why isn't that door open? Why is the door not opening? That's what I mean.
Oh, it was my cat jumping on the chair. He wants to sleep. Why does it work? Yeah, why do I have to do with the condor? Reserve power mode active. Active. I thank you for watching all of, uh, Oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> You're awesome. Please subscribe, share, like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.